ArcCLS and Astute Geoscience are proud to introduce a new collaborative geoscience project which combines 2D broadband seismic, well and potential fields data in the X-Field modelling package to interpret the geology of the Northeast Rockall Basin. Specifically, the project highlights the structure beneath the shallow basalts, which are a major imaging challenge on the UK Atlantic margin, to provide a robust foundation for assessing the hydrocarbon potential of the region. This video will outline the rationale behind the project, that integrating multiple datasets has allowed us to overcome poor sub-basalt seismic imaging in the area, which has hampered exploration in the past. Using potential field, seismic and well data, 22 seismic lines have been modelled which form a tide grid and have been used to derive key 3D horizons for the region. Using the models, sediment thickness maps and a GIS-based interpretation of structural elements, correlated with anomalies on gravity and magnetic grids, have been derived. All of these deliverables are provided as part of this project alongside reprocessed seismic data and a report reviewing the literature, explaining the method and discussing the results and implication of the work. The study area is centred on the North East Rockall Basin and includes the Wyville Thompson Ridge, West Flannan Basin, West Lewis Basin and adjacent highs. The region is adjacent and a long strike from the prolific West of Shetlands hydrocarbon province and discoveries on the flanks of the Rockall Trough in the Irish sector. In the northeast Rockall Basin, the Bambecula gas discovery has demonstrated the existence of an at least partially functioning petroleum system. However, the region has never been thoroughly explored. The principal geological reason that the region is underexplored is that the voluminous, laterally extensive Paleogene basalt facies cover much of the Atlantic margin the high acoustic impedance contrast caused by the top contact of this hard facies with the soft sediments above attenuates seismic energy, leading to poor sub-basalt imaging. There has been a considerable amount of research on the Rockall Trough and Wyville Thompson Ridge. However, most previous studies have been based on a very restricted data set whereas this new multi-client project makes use of an integrated data set combining 2D broadband seismic, well, gravity and magnetic data released by the OGA in 2016. Additional public domain data, such as satellite gravity and magnetic data, have also been assessed and used to provide constraints on our interpretation. Furthermore, Geological information from previous studies are reviewed to give a comprehensive geological overview of the area in the project report. To address the challenge of poor seismic imaging beneath the basalts, we integrated four independent, publicly available datasets which were released by the OGA in 2016. These were 2D broadband seismic lines. 2D density and velocity models were produced along 22 of these profiles marine gravity data and additional satellite gravity data, marine magnetic data and well data. Any interpretation based on a single data type will inherit all of the uncertainties present in the data type used. For example, the poor seismic resolution below the basalts means that any interpretation produced on the seismic alone will be highly uncertain below the top of the basalts. By integrating the different independent data types available to us, we were able to use the strengths of each data type to mitigate the weaknesses of the others. Potential field data, for example, is acquired by a passive measurement method and is not impeded by the basalts. Gravity data in particular is sensitive to contrasts in density, making it an ideal tool for mapping the large density contrast that usually exists between sediments and crystalline basement rocks. Well and seismic data have been used to interpret the shallow geology and, in some cases, constrain the location and geology of the basement. Gravity and magnetic data have been used to interpret the deeper geology. By using the well and seismic data to constrain the shallow geology, the number of possible interpretations that can be made of the gravity and magnetic data are reduced. 
Similarly, rock properties extracted from the wells and used in the gravity and magnetic modelling enable the shallow seismic interpretation to be tested and validated. The final result is a defensible model of the subsurface seabed to Moho that satisfies all the available data. This northwest southeast oriented line intersects the West Lewis Basin, seen on the right, and the southern front of the Wyvil Thompson Ridge, running into the northeast Rockall Basin on the left of the section shown. We have an excellent fit, less than 5 milligals, on the free air gravity. The seismic data constrains the shallow geology and well data from nearby profiles were used to constrain the properties of the model units. Therefore, only changes to the sub-basalt structure were made to fit the gravity data. Changing the basement structure significantly worsens this fit, suggesting the model is robust. The magnetic fit is more qualitative than quantitative, as there are so many uncertainties in susceptibility and polarisation direction of successive basalt lava flows but the spatial distribution of spikes in the signal is broadly correct, suggesting basalt thicknesses are accurate. The model was produced on a live Segway image to ensure that it is consistent with the seismic data. Here we see the same model viewed in depth. The Wyville Thompson Ridge is bounded on the south by a large thrust fault, which partially reactivates a normal fault that defined the edge of the inverted pre-Cretaceous basin seen on the high. Note that the red at the base of the pink unit is the calculated depth to the MOHO in an isostatically compensated model, and its trend is broadly obeyed by the model MOHO depth. A tied network of 22 of these X-field models was produced. These models are all consistent at the intersections shown as vertical bars on the model image. Also included in this project, along with the original seismic data, are new versions of the seismic lines processed using proprietary processing techniques, which vastly improve the visibility of certain features in the seismic section, helping interpreters pick fault planes and horizons much faster. Take the example above. From line 71A, there are obvious faults and more subtle faults visible in the seismic here, but when processed with the fault enhancement filter, all of the faults are sharpened and leap more strongly out of the section. Or take this example, where dip steered filtering clears up noisy data whilst maintaining the true layering of the subsurface, making it a lot easier for the interpreter or auto picker to follow horizons. So, in conclusion, a robust and defensible geological model of the Northeast Rockall Basin, Wyville Thompson Ridge, West Lewis and West Flannan Basins and adjacent highs has been built using the Xfield Modeling Package, OpenDetect and ArcGIS. This project hugely reduces interpretational ambiguity in the area by satisfying multiple data types and provides a strong geological foundation for any company considering exploration or licensing within the Northeast Rockall Basin and surrounding area. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in this project and what it might offer you as an asset team considering licensing or exploration in this frontier region, please get in touch with Bennett Haworth or Stephen Rippington at the email addresses on screen for further details.